At naturalfoodsdiet.org, we are real fans of organic farming. We encourage eating organic fruits, vegetables, grains, and especially animal foods. People always ask me, aren't factory farms with all their chemical fertilizers, herbicides, pesticides, genetically modified crops, the only way to produce enough food to feed the population? At least that's what the large corporations like Monsanto and DuPont and other companies that make all the chemicals say. But is it really true? Well, let me tell you about a report on the results of a 30-year study comparing the results of organic versus conventional farming. Now, this has been carried out by the Rodale Institute in Pennsylvania. The study is called the Farming Systems Trial. Now, here's a summary of the results. First, organic yields match conventional yields. Second, organic outperforms conventional in years of drought. Third, organic farming systems build rather than deplete the soil organic matter, making it more sustainable. Fourth, organic farming uses 45% less energy than, and is more efficient than conventional farming. Fifth, conventional farming systems produce 40% more greenhouse gases than organic. Sixth, organic farming systems are more profitable than conventional. That's amazing. Now there's other benefits as well. Organic farming employs more people than conventional farms per acre. Now this can invigorate the rural communities that are in decline. So this study is great news. It's telling us that farming the natural way like our ancestors did actually is the most efficient way to farm and it's less damaging to the environment. The factory farming system is broken. It's leaving us with poisoned water, depleted soil, declining rural communities, damage to the environment, a waste of energy, and it destroys human health. The only ones to benefit are the large corporations. That's the factory farms and these chemical companies. But even they will have nowhere to turn once the earth is destroyed. Now's the time to create a sustainable food production system. This is the only way we'll be able to feed the world on a sustainable basis. The use of harsh chemicals is short-sighted at best. Let's take the example of Monsanto's Roundup, which is an herbicide. They've discovered that at least 200 weed species have become resistant to the active ingredient in Roundup. That's glyphosate. So to help the company out so that they can spray more of this glyphosate stuff onto the resistant weeds, the EPA has recently approved a 20-fold increase in how much glyphosate residue can be contained in our food. This is a chemical that at low doses causes nose, throat, and eye irritation, photosensitivity, malformations and birth defects, cancer, and genetic damage. Now we're gonna have 20 times more of this stuff in our food thanks to factory farms. This is just one example of many I could give that show the bad side of conventional farming methods. So here's what you can do. Vote with your fork. Buy organic, especially the animal foods. A good guide is the Environmental Working Group has a website that lists the dirty dozen fruits and vegetables, which you should always buy organic because these have the highest pesticide residues. If we all buy organic food, it creates a market for these products. And we can do our part to create a sustainable food system. This is Dr. Gerhauser. It's been great talking to you today. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button above.